Hey everyone, Cypher here, or Cypher, however you want to call me. And it's been a while since I've done a commentary video of this type in a long time. And what it is, is pretty much is a server review. And I haven't done one of these since, well, particularly the one I did back on Battlefield 3 on the PlayStation 3. And pretty much is with these types of videos is I go into a server, play for about a week or two, maybe longer, and pretty much talk about the positives, the negatives, and my suggestions towards the renter slash owner of that server and explaining what you can do to help improve your server make it you know better in the long run for how long you're gonna offer the server now this is a team deathmatch server run by a gaming group by the name of ADK now I've been playing in this particular server since day one of release of Battlefield 4 and that means I go I quite a bit extensive knowledge in this server, you know, in terms of like how it's been run from, like I say, from day one to right at this current time frame. Now, definitely some of the major positives are in this server are particularly are because of the fact of that. Well, it's really fun. It's a 64 man, 300 ticket team deathmatch server that has a base clock of one hour, so that means if you don't have a 64 people in here, say a very low number, you have an hour to pretty much complete the game. And honestly, does it work? Yeah, it really does work. I feel like it does pretty well. Alright, it works pretty darn well. Okay, so, hmm, definitely, well, it's a fun server. In course, most of the people that do show up in here are pretty nice, retaliatory people, I mean, they don't where they can plant up a storm, or they, you know, throw accusations out, unless it's legitimately like, yeah, that person is uh, using a hack, well, it's done okay, but nonetheless, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Surfer. However, unfortunately, the negatives outweigh the positives that are in this game, or I should say, particularly in the server, I should say, really say. So, it's kind of a shame, but it is end as it is what it is. Now, the first thing that uh, is kind of a negative is the fact of the matter of that with the admins. Now, I don't know who an admin is, and probably keep them secret, like who are them, so they'll get, like, say, accused ad for, like, say, abuse hack, you know, admin abuse, or whatever it may be. And, yeah, it's definitely without a doubt, you know. Problem. Sometimes people do, but unless so we have no admins, how can they? How can we say, mention to an admin? Hey, we got a situation here. We need some assistance in dealing with this problem. So no admins, it's kind of a problem. Now another problem is that in the game chat, you, you s occasionally I have been seeing a lot lately of hey, if there's a problem going on in our server, please report. You no know, to us. Uh, you know, like say to ad, ad admin or ad report report, like, hey, if anyone's breaking the rules, just, what are your rules? I have not seen a single command for, like, hey, we have a rule here, please deal with it. You know, or show it to us. It's kind of, huh, it's interesting. Now, the third problem is actually the cheers that are in the game. Alright? Like, literally, the, there are cheers in the game. They do get around Punk Buster and Fair Fight, and it is such a shame. And I have been through multiple times where literally I have just been hit with wall hacks or some aimbot hack cheats and it's just like, really you're doing that? That's kind of a bunch of BS. But it happens, people do get around it because of Punk Buster and Fairfighter not 100% good all the time. Best way to describe it. Now, another problem that I've been seeing is the fact is that People are really abusing their rights nowadays. Uh, of course, naturally, most times I don't give a rat's ass uh, where people are playing from, or in terms of like, okay, they can play anything because of the whole play now ability. Okay, that's nothing wrong with that, it's perfectly fine, but however, when you literally are playing against players that I like, say from Japan or China, it's a bit of an issue because it's like, you know, there's going to be a bit of a lag going to come in play, and it's just such a nuisance. And especially, the matter is, if you have people that have high pings, I mean a whole bunch of them, it actually causes the server to light up so much that basically, it's like one on earth moment. So, yeah, that's an issue too. And so people could say, oh, I'm complaining and being like whiny little B word, but you know what? It's a true statement. I've seen it in the server as well as other servers. So, uh, like I know what I'm talking about here. And the last major problem, and it's a big one, is Valve's 
team balance. I mean, literally, there have been moments where it's like, are these teams even balanced? Like, I, when I'm just about to jump into a server, like, I just check to say, okay, what's the current sto score? Like, in terms of grabs the most kills to score. Literally, if they say 250 to 130. Yeah, is that fair by any means? No, because that shows that the team that's you know, obviously they got the 130 is literally get it, their asses handed to them by the obviously better team. Is that, should it be that way? No, it shouldn't be, but it is what it is. And it definitely is those moments where we go, uh-huh, uh-huh, it's a problem. It is a problem. And... I've been in a server where actually there was members of from this gaming group that came in and says like, yeah, we do have auto balance in play, but it's based off skill. Yeah, well, I'll get on that in a moment. But moving on to my suggestions. Now, a matter of the admins. If you guys get the admins a little bit more in and, say, and actually have your members that are admins say like, hey, yeah, I'm an admin. I understand your problem. We're going to take this information, give it to our upper leadership and we'll try to fix the problem for you guys please bear with us so, no, for right now okay please bear with us so something like that would be cool or you can say have a clan tag that maybe say yeah this is the admins of our group something like that would be cool because then we can say oh hey admin we actually have a problem here like such as like hey we have a cheater going there in the game or something else all right definitely without doubt it's something like hmm Yep, that's been the issue. Now moving on to the rules. Post them. Give us actually like say a command so like app rules or explanation rules and say, hey okay, here's how we can actually get the rules for the game. Or for our particular server. You know, on the server it's gonna be this, 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 and if someone is actually legitimately cheating, well here you go. These are the means for it. Report it, good to go. Now, moving on to the cheaters. Like I mentioned a little bit, Punk Buster and Fair Fight, while they may be great anti-cheat detection programs out there in their own unique forms, they are so out of date and they owe and sometimes ha can have instant people get banned because the fact of the matter is that you know they, you know, they think, oh, they're really using a hack, but really they're not. And those who are legitimately using hacks or wall hacks get around it because it may be a new version because Punk Buster and Fair Five are out of date already, so that's why having an admin could be useful because they say, okay, we can kick the person that's legitimately using a cheat and get rid of them from the game. Or, of course, those who are being a pain in the ass by, you know, those things bitching up a storm, but that's a whole other story. Because I'm, every storm is going to deal with it in some very relational form, so yeah. Now, going on to the matter of those who abuse their ping, their lag. It would truly be nice to have, see in this game, they say a ping kick program in place. Like, example, they go, okay, we only are going to set people with 150 or under ping, and that's going to be allowed in our server. If you have above 150, you may be kicked. Because even just recently, I've seen people that have had nearly a 500 plus ping. I'm like, good God, really? How can you play on such a high ping server? It makes you know, it makes no serve. Or it makes no sense, I should say. It's like, wow, that's a problem. And I mean, it is a problem because getting killed behind cover because someone has you know, a massive lag, that's a bit of an issue. It is. Now, obviously, you know, you may want to have like, some kind of exclusion program out there that say, okay, we don't member or a good player that we know. It's like, okay, we know they're going to have a high ping because of their location, but they're legitimately not going to be that bad. Okay, put that in place to help. You know, be fair to them, that's what I describe. Now, moving on to the main thing I really want to talk about is definitely is its auto balance, the team auto balance deal. You know, you guys say it's based off skill. Okay, that's cool, but the problem is, and I've seen this in other servers, is that when you base it off skill, is it doesn't always do 100% all the time effective. So maybe having a manual you know, switch rule would be cool, and switch out the teams, or have some kind of thing that just scram each and every single match, the teams get scrambled. By doing that, you're obviously playing with different people, and you're playing against your former teammates and everything, and in return, you can now play at different, you know, it, it's more fair, that's what I describe, it just becomes more fair. And, honestly, I hate being on the receiving end of getting my ass handed to, but I find on the side that's been doing it. So, 
honestly, you know, like I said, if you guys kind of balance that out a little more better, it'd be great. So, that's pretty much it for oh, my two senses on this topic matter. And, uh, all the stuff. So, I hope ATK, you guys were listening on to this stuff, and you do change up because the server is great, but until it gets fixed, a lot of people are going to say, screw the server and leave. So, yeah. Take these th th thoughts into consideration. <laughs>